This video is one of a series numbered 1 to 8, which cover the basic concepts of the primary mathematics curriculum. OK, the next resource we're going to look at are number lines or number tracks. Um, so here's a simple example of a little 1 to 10 number track, and I'm going to show you how you can make them and how you can use them from, again, free waste materials. So this is a milk packet with a fantastic foil based lining so one makes a wonderful resource um, you can make bigger number tracks sort of 1 to 20 and even very big long ones meter long ones um, and they can be used for all sorts of things as we're going to find out okay so i'm going to show you how you can make um, a number track like this you start off with one piece of milk bag and the first thing that you do is that you draw lines the width of your ruler going right the way down. So I've done that to start with. Then what you do is you mark one centimetre lines right the way across. Do the same down at the bottom. So mark your one centimetre lines and I've marked them right the way along the bottom there. And then you simply join them up again. And it's very important that you get straight lines. So take your time and you join them up going right the way across. Okay, once you've gone right the way across the page, what you need to do then is to, so that the um, number lines stand out better, then you need to use some color. So take a permanent marker, any color you like. So let's go with, I've got a nice orange color here. And then what you do is it's easier to just color right the way down, all the way down. And then once you've done one strip, you miss a line and then you go down and you do the next one. So you go right the way across, colouring in the alternate columns. So here's one I've already made. Okay, so now we've done that, what we need to do is we cut the um, tracks up. So we cut along. Okay, cut them all up and then what you need to do is to use some sellotape and to pair them up obviously making sure that you don't have pink next to pink so leave your gap like that sellotape over okay let's join one more if you find that this is bigger than a centimetre, then trim it off and line it up. Okay, and then you can start putting the numbers on it. All right, so this is why it's this is going to be a number track rather than a number line, because with a number line, you would have the number on the edge but we're going to put the numbers actually in the spaces. So you make the number as big as you can. So two, three, and so on, all the way up. When you get to double digits, it can be a little bit harder. So you have to squash them a little bit. So for instance, 10, you might have a slightly flattened zero like this. And you go right the way along all right until you've got your finish so here there's an example here that goes 1 to 60. We've got another example here which goes all the way to 100. so the advantage of this is because we've done them in centimeters that as well as using them for number work and for counting you can also use them for measuring all right and because they're tapes you can measure around so you can measure around your arm or around your wrist all right um, if you're doing measurement and you're teaching children about decimeters, 10 centimeters, then you can use these little ones. 
as well as 10 centimeter strips. Um, I've used milk bags here for this one, but it may surprise you that there's another material. Um, this is a toothpaste tube. And when you cut open a toothpaste tube, you find that you've got this lovely, and it's quite hardy, um, foil lined again. So another good, strong resource. Um, and you can see that this pink tape measure is actually being made from toothpaste tubes. Okay. okay. There's lots of ways that you can use these number tracks once you've made them. Obviously for simple counting, so the children can use them to count along, count in unison, going along. You can also use them for addition and subtraction. So if uh, you're asking the children to do 10 plus 4, then they find 10, they put their finger on it, they add on 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and find the answer. Likewise, they can use it for subtraction. Start on 26, take away 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and they get their answer. You can also use it to play simple games. So you need a small counter because obviously your uh, number track is quite small. So top of a toothpaste tube is ideal and you can use your dice to play a game. So throw the dice. They can either use it to make a number. So 31, find 31 and point to it. Throw the dice again. 20, find 20. Put your counter on it. Or you could start on 20 and then say, right now I'm going to add. So I'm going to add on four. One, two, three, four. I'm now on 24. Maybe I'm going to add on 21. So this is going to be quite challenging for them. So they're going to have to think, right, I need to add on two tens. So I'm going from 24 to 34 will be one ten. To 44 will be another 10. And now I need to add on one, which will take me to 45. Lots of different ways we can use them. Okay. With the smaller ones, again, this can be used simply for counting to 10. Also very good for number bonds to 10. So I'm going to throw one of my dice. I've got three and I want to know what goes with three to make 10. Okay, so three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I know that three and seven makes 10. Throw again, one. One and what makes 10? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One and nine makes 10. Okay, so you can use these. These are also decimeters, they're 10 centimeters. So the children can use them as measuring. How many centimeters is your finger? How many centimeters is your thumb? How many centimeters is your nose? How many centimeters across is your finger? So these are wonderful, uh, wonderful ways of measuring. You can also, they're very easy to fold. So if you wanted to show somebody how big is four centimeters, then you can fold it across like this and you can see the length quite easily there. Um, another kind of number um, track that we've got here, this one is a, a bit bigger, so you can use bottle tops on it. Um, and again, you can use it in a similar way. This time we can do number bonds to um, 20. So maybe throw two dice. Okay, and I've got 10, or I could say one plus nothing makes one, so I'm on one, and they can work out, count how many numbers to make 20. Um, you could even use it for a very simple counting game. So I'm gonna play against my partner, who's got the upside down bottle top, and we take it in turns and we throw. So I'm gonna to go to eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then my partner will throw. Oh dear, they haven't gone anywhere. They haven't started, they're on zero. Then I'm gonna throw. Oh, I'm not going anywhere either, I'm on zero. Throw again, my partner now. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then you keep going and the winner is the first to reach 20. If you want to teach subtraction, then the game is exactly the same, but this time we start at 20 and we roll the dice. So this time I've thrown four, so 20, and then take away four. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, 16, and so on. And this time the winner is the first that get back to one. More detail about the resources in this video and others can be found in this booklet, Numeracy for All, Resources for Teaching Mathematics.
a guide for teachers and trainers on how to make and use low cost or no cost teaching and learning aids to encourage active and playful learning for maths in the classroom. OK, let's go and teach some maths. These videos are from a partnership between VSO International and the MESH initiative. Both organisations have a commitment to share knowledge freely around the world for the benefit of teachers and learners. Yeah.